Yo, this is Eve Edwards, the Thug Jitsu Master, and you're in El Octagono. El Octagono. Yeah, you know, but I don't think too much of it. I mean, we're way out on the west coast of Canada. He's from the east coast. You know, it's like going to Vegas to fight somebody. You know, it's like Same nobody's really American home down. Yeah, you know, it's an American and Canadian. I don't, and then Canada, man, the fight fans in Canada, they they just seem to love fights. You know what I mean? Um, I think that's what's happening. I think the sport has evolved, and I think the fans have evolved too. You know, where it's not just oh, let's root for the American, or let's root for the hometown guy. It's let's root for the guy that we really enjoy watching fight, you know? So um, this is one of those things where I think they enjoy watching both of us fight. You know, I think right now more people know who Sam is than know who I am. You know, he's been in he's been in the organization recently much more, you know? So, um, and then, yeah, he's, he's still got that Canadian backing. So I think they're going to um, support him, but I think they're going to support me also. And um, I think once they see the fight, once it starts to play out, it's going to be like, you know, Rocky in Russia. Eve, can you comment on, like, when you were in the UFC before, it seemed like you were just getting to the top of the division and then they did away with the division on it, you know, and there was a certain irony in that, that you were maybe the best light weight in the world at the time the whole thing goes under. You know, um, it kind of sucks because um, at the time the fight with Josh Thompson was for the t for the belt, and then it was, um, and, you know, then it wasn't for the belt. Um, and, and that's one thing that's not on my resume. You know, I can never say that I was a champion. Um, right. and all, and it's all because of, um, you know, the, the state of the sport at the time. Um, so I mean, there's only one way to fix that. You know, just get back in there and just get back on the grind and, and try it. It's going to be a lot harder this time. You know, the division's a lot more deep than it was then. So um, I just got to take it one fight at a time, one round at a time, and just go for it. And how about the number of sheer number of guys that may be ahead of you because of what they've done over the time that you haven't been in the UFC? You know, that's that's just the nature of the beast. Um, I'm not I'm not upset about it. You know, there's a lot of those guys I have a lot of respect for. Some of those guys I have a personal relationship with, like Melvin, you know, and other guys. And um, I want to see them do well, you know. And I guess the only fight I want to see those guys lose is the time when they stand across to me, across from me. You, so know? you don't take that person at all. Like you said, you know, more people probably know Sam. But you think about how long you've been in the sport, what you've accomplished. You don't take that person at all? I, um, I'm not one of these guys, like, um, like... Like really, like, this is just me as a person. Um, the only people that can hurt my feelings are my family. You know what I mean? I, I I love my I love fans. I love my friends. But my family and friends are the only people that can hurt my feelings. You know, um, things happen in life, and you just have to exist. Um, you know, and move on and grow from it. You know, so I, I just I just try not to to, 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 to harbor on the on the on the on the things that that I can't control and things that are out of my hands and the things that um I guess could could be be a distraction. You know, it doesn't matter to me that um that I didn't get a chance to hold a belt. You know, I mean it. it to some degree it does, but it doesn't change my life. I was still going to have to breathe every day, so I'm just going to take it a step at a time. It'll change your life if you have the belt. It will, you know, but um, I haven't had that experience yet, you know, so it's not something that, it's something that I know I long for, but it's not something I can say I truly miss, because I haven't, haven't had an experience that yet. So. Can I ask you about Sam? Um, you know, everybody was talking to him yesterday. He's been at how many fights of the night? Four or five fights of the night and everything, and yet they're all talking to him yesterday about, well, you haven't finished. I mean, so do you look at him as a guy that's you know, a volume puncher that doesn't have a lot of power, or do you think it's just one of those things that he hasn't gotten the knockouts? I think it's one of those things. Um, I think you hit hit the right guy at the right time. You know, uh, you hit a guy with the right shot, you you can finish a fight. You know, and everybody everybody in the sport has the capability of finishing a fight. I mean, I'm sure there are guys out there with like horrible records. You know, but um, they've probably finished a guy or two. You know, guys three and eighteen has probably got to finish. So um, you know, I mean, a guy like Sam who's, who's a stud and um, you know, he's got a nickname that has a stone you know and I don't know if that I, I don't think that just comes out of the blue you know he's probably got some knockout power in there so um, I just I just want to keep my hands up and not let him let him execute that you know so when you watch his film or whatever and you look at it I got to think if he's winning fight of the night he's putting his hands on somebody right at least some point and yet he's not getting the finishes so why do you think it might be is it just the the quality of the opponents? Uh, definitely quality of the opponents has something to do with it you know every every one of those guys um, look at look at their records you know when was the last time any one of those guys get got knocked out I can't think of it except maybe Joe Lozon and, and Lozon's tough in his own right you know um, so I, I can't I can't put a put and I don't even think Joe's gotten knocked out when I think about it um can't I stop him with ground and pound. Yeah, okay there you go yeah. Yeah, but he never went to sleep. You know, it's one of those things. Uh, you know, guys, guys, guys are tough. Everybody's tough nowadays. So I'm just, I'm not, I'm not taking anything away from him. I don't want him to land that perfect shot on me. You know, I don't want to be the guy that the first guy he knocks out in the UFC. So I'm just gonna go out there, keep my hands up, and chin down. How are you different from when you fought Josh Thompson? You know, your last uh, time around to now. I think I've, I think, 
after my fight with Josh and, and leaving the UFC and, and doing the things in between, I had some success, had some failures, and I think I lost a lot of confidence, and um, I didn't really know what was happening, you know, what was happening with me and what I should do, um, and I wasn't evolving. Um, I think somebody said it. I don't remember what journalist said it, but when he said that, I took a step back, and fortunately, I'm not one of those guys who gets my feelings hurt and, and get upset about things, you know. I, um, I looked at it for what it was worth, and, and, you know, somebody said that I wasn't evolving with the sport, and um, I took a look at that and went back and watched some of my fights and watched some of my present fights at the time and um, now now I've, I've changed some things and, and I feel like I'm back back on that curve and I'm, I'm evolving again and, and, and keeping up with these guys that are you know 22 years old that are studs. Is your body the same though? I mean you know the fighting as long as you have you know you, I'm sure it puts wear and tear on your body can you be if you had the same knowledge 10 years ago can you be the same kind of guy? I think so you know I um I feel I feel like I still feel like a kid I don't feel old at all I, I don't feel anything's different you know um, in the gym I still feel like the same guy physically you know I can go just as hard I can go harder I can go longer um, and now I've got that that experience and that knowledge behind me now so I think there's a few things that I that um that I couldn't do before that I can do now but physically I still have the same skills that I had skip same skill set that I had back then visit el octagono for all the latest in MMA news fight results interviews live event coverage podcast and video capsules all this and much more in Spanish find all your MMA needs here inside el octagono the number one source dedicated 100% to MMA in Spanish Octagono.com